Hi, my name is Yellow Man. Uh, in Navajo, it's Dinitsui. I'm from the Shiprock area, the Four Corners area, as they call it. My home area is a little place called Little Water. So I slightly grew up in that area. I was born in Ogden, Utah. Growing up on the res, you, you meet a lot of uh, young people that have uh, similar likes, I guess. They, they like also drawing and stuff, and you kind of get drawn to those type of people. And um, I see some young people that, when I look back at it now, they were fantastic artists, even at that age. It was amazing, and I think that's what um, kind of drew me into this type of profession and sense of, of being an artist. Well, my first was more of a watercoloring. I was doing watercolors at that time. I wasn't necessarily um, really getting involved in art. It was something I liked to do. It wasn't necessarily a hobby, but it was just something that was fun for me to do. One time, this uh, one teacher said, uh, I like that. Would you, can I buy it from you? And I said, sure. And so I sold, that was my first time I sold the painting. And I guess that would, as they say, would constitute being professional. It was, it was penned by a, a songwriter who says uh, that every picture tells a story. Every painting I do has a story behind it. It's not just a pretty picture. It, it, it has a story behind it, some sort of history behind it. Uh, sometimes it's just centering on that one individual, reflecting maybe thoughts of family, friends, loved ones, um, moments in their lives. And so that, uh, that kind of inspires me to, to carry on in those images. It all started with a pen, just a pencil work. I, I, I was too young to have a camera. And so today, an idea, a memory comes, in, comes into play. I'll get my drawing paper out and I'll start drawing it. Even if I'm at a restaurant, my wife will tell you, I would take up the napkin and I would draw out these ideas and I'll crumble up and put them in my pocket. And then when I get home, I'll sit down and I'll lay them out uh, on a regular piece of paper, regular sheet of paper. A lot of things kind of inspire me. When I was growing up, I used to herd sheep with my grandmother. I used to get up early in the morning and start tending to the flock. Looking out, you can see, again, you can see uh, the valley where you're going to be taking the sheep. You look out there and you just see the morning mist. You, you feel not only the sun, the way it looks, the way it, everything about you. You also catches a smell. You, you smell things that like, um, like my grandmother cooking breakfast, getting ready for breakfast, and you're outside, you can smell all these things. And uh, you can smell the burning pinon. And uh, it just sits off so much emotions and memories that you, just, you, you, you have a hard time trying to contain it. And you need to uh, put it on paper, or you need to put it on uh, canvas or so. The regalia that I try to project are images that I've seen at one point or another, whether it was in a museum or, or from the experiences I had visually seen at first hand. History has really painted a, a, a poor picture of the way Native Americans were during this time, the late 1800s after the reservations were established. These photos that they have showed these people are broken people. History books are full of photos of that nature, but in reality, tribal people, they carry themselves very highly. They had a great deal of dignity to themselves and to their families. I try to present that part when I do my work. I want to show them wearing the best that they had available. Well, I tell young people, being a sponge in this development of your career pretty much means uh, soaking up everything that you can find. You talk to people, you listen to them, and not just take it for granted that they're sharing, sharing information with you. And when I was quite young, we traveled up north, and I, I got up early in the morning, and I seen the way the sun sets over the mountains. I seen the way the, the light bathed over the, over the valley. And all of these things play moments, and trying to capture that and convey that uh, on, on canvas or, or watercolor, so it's a challenge, but it's always there to make you say, 
I want to achieve that moment again, over and over again. My name is Young Man. I'm a Native American artist doing what I love doing, and um, I thank the Lord for that opportunity.